Megan and I am here today with a brand new purchase that I made. Uh, I went to Michael's today and I am actually planning on doing a Harry Potter theme next month in my bullet journal. So I was looking for a bronze uh, pen to be able to use in my journal next month. So, um, I was looking around, I found it a couple different things, and I almost grabbed bronze Sharpies, but then I saw these when I was leaving, and I didn't know anything about them, uh, but they are brush pens, and I am just starting to really learn how to use brush pens. Honestly, I've had my Tombos for a while, but I mostly use them for color. Uh, decoration that kind of thing I'm not very good at the actual like hand lettering but uh, I loved the idea of these they are Kelly creates metallic jewel brush pens it came with eight different colors in this set let's see what it says on the back here metallic brush pens that shine on both black and white paper I actually don't have any black paper it's just not something that I use so I just tried them on white paper but they are looking pretty good on the white paper I'll show you guys in just a minute what they looked like they retailed uh, at my Michaels for $17.99 and I got them half off so they ended up being $8.99 because there was a 50% off coupon at Michaels to Day. So I went ahead and used that for these and I'm pretty happy with the purchase overall. I'll just go ahead and tell you that. I would definitely buy them again. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside and show you. Let's look at this first. So this is my traveler's notebook. I use a Rhodia Gold Book in my traveler's notebook if you're not familiar with my journal just so you know that's what I have and this is my pen test area in the back of my journal and I decided to go ahead and put these in here because I wanted to see uh, how they will work with my journal especially if I'm going to be using them a lot next month for my monthlies so I put them in here and you can see this is the bronze bronze and then amethyst and emerald ruby gold sapphire Jade and silver and they did really well in here actually uh, see so you can tell I'm terrible at brush lettering it's not even a thing really honestly it's just terribleness <laughs> but hopefully one day we'll get there but I tried these in here and they the one thing is that they they kind of like the shimmer whatever makes them shimmery it doesn't really dry I guess so there's there's still some shimmer transfer even after you write which doesn't really bother me honestly because the shimmer is just absolutely gorgeous and it's not like it transferred to this other page or anything like when I closed it you know it there's it didn't transfer over there it's just like if I rub it then it comes off on my hands so it's not like going to be a big problem I don't think I'm not worried about it and it just looks absolutely gorgeous let me see if I can kind of there you go you guys can see that shimmer is just really really beautiful it's it's honestly perfect they're exactly what I was looking for as far as ghosting this is the Rhodia Gold Book again, which Rhodia traditionally has pretty good paper. Um, I noticed some ghosting with my, these are my Tombows. I definitely noticed ghosting with them. And I noticed ghosting with my fountain pens as well. 
it's never bothered me. I'm not somebody that that really bothers. I would say that this is about equal to the Tombos. So if you use Tombos in your journal, I would say that these just kind of equally show through. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. There you go. So that's these, and then this would be my, these are my Tombos. So you can see it's pretty similar. Um, and again, this, the Rhodia paper is more, it's a, like a yellowy cream color. If you're not familiar with Rhodia, this is a more traditional white. So I figured I would do some writing on here so you guys can see just kind of what it looks like on a more traditional white color paper. And these are just, they're not like dual tips. They're just like, they're just brush tips. So, you know, you can do the bigger and the littler, but there's like the back doesn't come off or anything. So it's not going to be like the Tombow in that aspect. They're just meant to be brush, pen, brush markers, not really pen pens. Which color are we missing? Jade. And Jade. Oh, it's this one. There we go. Okay, so you guys can see it like goes on really, really heavy. Um, hopefully you saw that, but it like it almost immediately starts to dry. So let me see if I can show you that. So like pay pay close attention. <laughs> it like goes on really, really wet and heavy and then it just like immediately like you can see it drying if you pay attention to it I'm not sure that my camera is gonna pick that up but it's like so wet and then it like just quickly dries And then, so you can see, it's not like, so again, I'm getting that like shimmery stuff off on my finger, but it's not going to like do anything like on the paper. It's not smudging or anything like that. So it dries really quickly, um, but it does go on really, really wet. I was worried when I first started using them that it was going to be so wet that it was going to show through on the other side of my paper in my journal but it didn't and then I use them in my sketchbook so this is just my regular sketchbook from Barnes Noble that I use all the time um you would see it like and I just posted like a doodle with me video um you would see it in there so then I I just so like I do like this was colored pencil and fiber castell and you can't really see much through there. This is Tombows. Um, you can see my Tombows do come through a little bit when it's really heavy on this paper because it's really thick paper and um, there's there's about I would say about the same amount of ghosting as was on that Rhodia paper for this. But this was just another example of what it looks like on white paper. Um, and I just, I mean, I think they're amazing. Honestly, I would highly recommend them. I am really excited that I just like randomly saw them at the store, <laughs> um, at Michael's. So I would definitely suggest like, if you're looking for some metallic brush pens, these are definitely one that I would recommend. I'm going to be using them a lot setting up it for April so when I do my plan with me in April I'll try to give you guys more feedback on how that and they ended up working in there and so I will um, update you guys if I find that there's anything I need to add uh, or I have any issues when I'm setting up for April with these or anything like that but so far they seem to be 
just fantastic. There's just so much pigmentation. They're so bright and gorgeous and beautiful when they write. Um, and they just lay down so much ink without bleeding through or um, like saturating the page to the point that it uh, just like is all wrinkly or you know how paper gets when it has, just has too much ink in it so I'm really pleased with them right now I love them again they're they're in this packaging at Michael's I'm gonna look around and see where else we can get them uh, and I'll try and give you guys some links down below especially if you don't have a Michael's local to you I'll see if I can figure out if they're available anywhere else for you so I'll get that information for you down below and then um, if you do decide that you want them uh, you can use a coupon on them at Michael's so run and grab a coupon especially today they're 50% off grab a coupon for Michael's run up to Michael's and grab them because they are amazing and I can already tell that I'm just like going to be obsessed with them. So you guys will probably be seeing them a lot. <laughs> uh, and sh I know that this um, Kelly Creates, this brand has just regular brush pens as well. Definitely going to have to check those out and see what I uh, can find out about the colors that she has. And if I need to uh, get a whole bunch of these now <laughs> that I've decided that they are just really high quality and beautiful and the size is so perfect they just like feel really good in your hand um because they're like the size of a normal like pen basically so this is my favorite Faber Castell pit artist pen and it's just like the same exact size so it just feels very natural to write with these for sure if you have the Kelly Creates Jewel Brush Pens, I would love for you to share below any projects that you're doing with them. If you do decide to purchase them, I'd love to see what you have made with them. You can tag me on Instagram at Coffee and Cardies. I, If you like this video, I would just love for you to give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more videos about bullet journaling or planning supplies, I'd love for you to just hit subscribe and just continue to follow along on my journey here as I learn and grow and keep delving deeper into this wonderful world of Booja. <laughs> Until next time, bye guys!